Hello everyone and welcome back. By nature, project consists of tasks, but not every task directly impacts on a project duration or finish date. Some assignments are critical and any changes in them will influence all other tasks and the whole project. This is where we can speak about critical parts. Now I made a previous video about critical tasks. Today we'll take a step forward and discuss about critical path. Now, what what is a critical path? That would be the first question that comes to mind. To understand it simply, it's a chain of linked tasks that make a critical path. So this is the shortest way to fulfill a project if something goes wrong with one of them, it will affect the finish date of the entire project. So basically, critical path is made up of multiple critical tasks. It's not necessary that all tasks within the critical path may be critical tasks, but it has the most number of critical tasks in the project. So it's the shortest path from the project start to project finish. So any changes in those tasks will impact your project as, as per uh, the changes in the project tasks that you're doing. So now let's come to see how we can see this in our project plan. So over here you can see a project plan that we have been following so far. So on the left hand side you see the Gantt chart and on the right hand side you see the tracking Gantt chart. So it has a lot of tasks with their dependencies and everything. Now, today we'll see how I can view critical path in this. So firstly, I'll head over to the Gantt chart format tab. Over here, you can see there's a checkbox that will show you the critical task in your project plan. As soon as I tick mark this, you'll start seeing the critical task in your tracking and chart over here. Now for some people it will be difficult to track because it's a huge project especially if you have a lot of uh, tasks in your project plan to see those all at once. So an easier way is to head over to the view tab and reduce the time scale. Right now you can uh, it's by default selected as days it allows you to view in hours as well. So you can reduce it to weeks even. So it's easier for you to view the task or the critical path for that matter on a weekly basis. You can even take it up to months. It depends on the magnitude of your project. So I'm going to keep it on weeks. Now the second thing I want to do is I want to filter out all the rest of the task and I want to see the critical path of my project. I will head over here, select the filter, and select critical. Now over here you can see the critical path being shown for my project. Let me expand it a bit in days so it's easier to see. So over here the red tasks are being shown as the critical path which helps you in identifying which are the critical path items of your project. Now there's another way of viewing this. You can head over to the main task toolbar, select network diagram. So this gives you an even better view of your critical path. Over here you see by default all the filtered critical path line items are shown to you. So you can follow the entire critical path of your project. Right to all the way up to the end of the project. So these tasks are being shown to you because you selected the filter critical over here. If you didn't have this filter, you will see all the tasks. But the easiest way is to select the critical view or filter over here and then head over to your network Gantt chart or network diagram 
and it will show you the entire critical path of your project. If you have multiple critical paths in your project, it will also show those to you. So they, these are the paths that are shortest way from start to completion within your project plan. So folks, this was today's video focused on critical path in MS project. I hope this would uh, prove helpful for your projects and please uh, click the like button if you were uh, not already subscribed, I'll request you to subscribe to the channel as well. And until our next video, please take care of yourselves and bye-bye.